I just, I love this. I do. I love it too much. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Jaconifer. Welcome back to the Dragon Center. Welcome back to some more Marvel's okay, Guardians of the Galaxy. Set. Keep the loonies busy while I rig the next one. I don't know if we can keep this up. Right. You have to. Flark! Well, I swear to Scott, if you let them shoot me in the ass. Don't want to rush you, but... Hey, stop rushing me! Yeah, don't mean to rush here, Rocket. This battle must end! Focus on running interference! I hate fighting these guys. <clears throat> okay, this one's set. Keep the loonies busy while I rig the next one. I don't know if we can keep this up. You have to. Flark. Well, I swear to Scott, if you let them shoot me in the ass, don't want to rush you, but hey, stop rushing me. Yo. <laughs> these deluded souls do not know when to quit. <laughs> Okay, they're 
Let the flow! We need to get the flark out of here! How much time do we have? I might have overdone it. Run! Oh. Damn it, Rocket. Where did this go? Out. Out where? Outside. Oh. Stay together, people. Don't fall off the edge. Don't fall off the edge. Oh, God. Oh, we're in space. Joys. Is there a right way to leave and a wrong way to leave? Oh, we're all dead. We're all dead. We're dead, all of us. We're dead. Gamora. Where's Gamora? You must go back. You're crazy. I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her and Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from. Oh, hi, Gamora. Gamora. that yes how'd you get back it doesn't matter I failed Raker lives for now we have to go back we can't leave Nikki there what he'll turn her into blah blah flark and blah so you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible child Ooh, rocket damn hit a rocket what it's true guess what you ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nut job is doing surprise nut job stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. I'd rather die with honor than without. Gamora's seen some shit. Crawled up her butt and died. I am good. So, get the flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to raise it. Okay. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay. We ain't restocking anytime soon. I am Groot. Harsh. Excuse me, I ain't the one advocating to throw ourselves to the Florkins. Right, Drax? Yes. Drax, you feeling all right, buddy? Are you all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. 
After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again. My family did not simply die. They were murdered by Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. Oh, that's fine. Hey, Rocket. You got a minute? Okay. Let's make some flarkin' cool stuff. Uh, this was not what I thought it was gonna be. What do I want? Actually, rapid reload would be. Oh, no, I already have rapid reload. Uh, tactical scan. Knockdown dash. Nothing I really I could really use right a flark and drink right now. The door. Gamora looks like she's in a mood. How did we get our shield back? How did we get our ship back? I thought Cosmo had it in possession. Gamora? Hey, hey. Gamora. Go away, Peter. Come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. <laughs> okay. All right. We're gonna sing it out. We're talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, 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 who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat? Call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it. Shooting at the walls of... The llama singing too. Walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. The warrior. I, well, am I am the warrior. The warrior. And heart to heart you <laughs> win. <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there with Nikki manipulating her with his slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... We can't bring them back. Who did you see in your promise? Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Could you move? I saw you looking at those emergency door control, stupid llama thing. Eh, looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. Groot! Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I am Groot. Man. Those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. Honestly, man. You're lucky you have Rocket. I mean, I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you, how lonely 
That can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and... and us. I am... Good. I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows? If this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow or hack it or... I don't know. I am Groot. It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. Do you actually speak Groot, then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learn to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. Well, that was a... That was a fun conversation. Alright, let's go have a chat with... Uh, let's go have a chat with Cosmo. Cosmo! Chew, chew. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? <laughs> chew! Block off! Wow. That panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, <laughs> do I look like an engineer? You don't. What is wrong with her? We have to go back. Sure, we're heroes, but there's anything yet. Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy, where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Pyotr Quill. Cosmo's ball has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. It's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo? Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. Oh. Hi. Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally. I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. Oh, the uh, Lethal, Lethal Legion. Legion? Uh, more like Loser Legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen. I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. 
Lady Hellbender sends of her guards, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. He looks so offended. Smooth. Uh, we got this. So we actually get to engage in a space battle. Oh, great. I do not remember how to fly the ship. There's no heart and give no quarter. There is nothing on that garbage. Yeah, we're salvaging. We're taking fire! <laughs> Try not to get shot, Quill. We got a piece of that guy. Ah, one leg. Guys, I think they sent the non-lethal legion. Yeah. Direct hit! Started. Who these guys are there? No time to back off, Cap. I never back off. Damage report. Stop getting hit, and there won't be no damage. Useful. Thanks. I am Groot. Stop barking orders, Groot. You don't even know how to fly her. Show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. Just keep watching. I don't remember how to fly her. Feels kind of good to have bounty hunters after us. Means we're making a name for ourselves, right? Not sure how much we get out of taking down crappy crap hole in this legion of crap. This guy sucks. Hang in there, bud. They ain't killed us yet. is all we need. That don't even make sense. We just wasted a ton of you. Woo! <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? Still you. Peter, I'm picking up something. What? Oh. It appears I'll have to finish this myself. That's not fair. So you defeated my fighters. But my crews will crush you. These ships ain't dying fast enough. That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's... I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked. Then do something about it. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. Yeah, you were a ship washing away. I am Clarice. 
There we go. Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Well, there we go. That panned out. <clears throat> Took down another bounty hunter. We'll take it. Yeah. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. Need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> To Novacor headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. Standard Galactic. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpants mistakes. How may we assist you? We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flark in World Mind doesn't already know? Maybe not ever. Oh, fuck you. We, we are, are aware of the current threat, but can devote no resources toward fighting it. Just pick something, Peter. How about future crime? Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. I can't believe this option doesn't work. This is the core they should be helping. I suggest the officer's directory. Certainly the world mine will be listed there. We should tell them about the promise. Right. Connecting to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Oh. Guardians of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mine. Long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No, no, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping, sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has, has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxius 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy. All lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mind's collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The universal church of truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me Mint. Look. We just escaped the church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things, 
We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Xandarian culture is a lost cause. Culture is more than a location. And yet, after the Shatari attack, you still build the new Xandar in the same system, knowing it wasn't safe. Where would you even go? Please understand that we are not able to disclose information of this nature to untrustworthy parties. Untrustworthy, my tail. And how long are you gonna hide from the church, huh? A millennia? Bolenia? As long as it takes. And if you try to come back, you'll be completely outnumbered. Zandarian culture will be preserved, but it'll never be safe again. Point, Point taken. Nevertheless, we must leave. Why? For unknown reasons. The church has stopped filing resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith. As an energy source is logical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. You're scared. Yeah, you met a math problem that you don't understand and you're running away from it. Fear is an emotional reaction. This beautiful. We, we do, do not, not experience emotion, therefore, therefore we, we cannot, cannot be afraid. Why are you running then? Our, Our primary directive is the preservation Yeah, yeah, bleep, bloop, bloop. Thought you were a class G super intelligence, not an infinite loop. You, you have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the galaxy, we will. Later. You plan right to deceive it down the world mind's logic departure. Routines. You're still leaving? We did we not, not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search, search of our data banks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Adam, Adam Warlock, Warlock, the church's original golden god. god. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So no one? We are, we are pleased. You reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Damn. Classic Nova Core. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <sighs> ah, screw it. If Novacore doesn't want to help, then we're not paying their darn fine. Cancel payment. I knew it! I knew you spent Lady Hellbender's money in nowhere. You saw me? You were there? I was watching your back. Great. All the way to Seknar from back, and nothing to show for it. I'm sorry, all right? Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off.
Accepting the promise. We got a job, Quill. I know. Those promises becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! No. Why have we stopped? The loser legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I'm Groot. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flock and water. If they right. find promise us, must be screwed. freely accepted. Oh, oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care. Just fix it. Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Peter's best. Fine. Don't. I just can't do this right now. Poor Groot. <sighs> I need some rest. Screw Noble Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Drax, I, uh... I do not wish to talk. Fair enough. We're all pretty spent, just... Try to get some rest if you can. Drax isn't doing so hot. That was kind of cool. Like, that was a that was a heavy conversation with the world mind, though. Look, it's our great leader. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. In there look we're all frustrated we did what we could with the world mind but they weren't even listening it doesn't matter they had their minds made up they were being kind of scut mm-hmm I mean I did nothing wrong I was just asking them to do their job how about doing your job my job have you seen the size of that church ship what am I supposed to do? Guess you and the world might aren't so different. What? Maybe it's because I had a tyrant for a dad, but I'm used to people in charge not being afraid to get scut done. What the heck? Damn. Really? How did you... Ugh. I'm gonna get fleas. Come on, girl. Shoot, shoot. What the f... That's how you got in? Ugh. Screw it. Jeez. And the bed smells. Great.
That was heavy. This is gonna get copyrighted, but damn, that was heavy. Nice little musical interlude here. <clears throat> Man, that was that was some heavy shit. We have a ship. This is our room. Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Who? Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you... me? Come on! The Talking Raccoon's waiting for you! Everybody is! Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was... fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> it's complicated. No, it's not! Stop running! And we've landed! Uh... Why <sighs> is younger me here? I can't... I can't think about this right now. Pew, pew. Okay, that's enough of that. Gamora scouted up a Chitauri installation not too far from here. What's in the Chitauri place? Looks promising for spare parts. Okay. Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Ugh. <sighs> How long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Well, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship. Yes, your ship. So you flew us all the way here? Yep. Without asking. Hey, I asked. You said, and I quote, I'll take you to the stars. I'll show you who we are. We're space riders with no name. Uh, and then you went back to sleep. And you thought that meant yes. Good enough for me. Why are we back there, in the quarantine let's though? go. Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Oh, Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Guys, don't let it get to you! Oh. Won't have to tell me twice! No. It's too fast, Peter! Ah! We cannot outrun the beast, Peter Quill! Keep going, Drax! Honor my death! Drax! Anybody? Guys, I'm sorry! I don't know what to do! Yes, you do! You do! We have to face our fears. Take responsibility. What are you doing? Heroes don't want it. None of this makes any sense! No! This is all wrong! It's my fault, isn't it? All of it! You're supposed to be here. Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? We can't keep running away from our problems. We can't keep running away from our problems. Guys! I'm sorry! I don't know what to do! What am I supposed you to do? You do! We have to face our fears. Take responsibility. I'm just going in circles. It's my fault, isn't it? All of it! You were supposed to be a hero. Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? No! This is all wrong! What are you doing? Heroes don't lie. None of this makes any sense! Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? We can't keep running away from our problems. We have to face our fears. 
appears. The responsibility. Guys, I'm sorry. I don't take that, you ugly monster thing. I guess that's what I was supposed to do. Hydrax. Uh, Drax. We talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Chimera will be restored. Uh, d yeah. Okay. Um, we just need to have faith. Oh. <laughs> uh, Drax. Kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family, your mother, the Cree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't. You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh. Uh, not exactly, but, but but not because I don't want to. It's just I have questions. I understand. The matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need time I will give you time Peter Quill however I am less certain of the others the wooden one may come around but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist mm -hmm. this makes them a dangerous element to our cause I must eliminate them wait why They're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? Of course I, I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. But Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch. Is, is offering it's, it's all new territory for him and the wooden one you said it yourself he'll come around I, I mean it's Groot man he's our rock very well Peter Quill good uh, good that's 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 great um, I'll, I'll let the others know no, I will fetch her and bring her to you how she's like a million light years away we have already landed on planet think well Peter Quill when I return she will demand your answer Wait! Drax! Drax what did you this? do great oh I'm here rocket oh thanks Lark Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I know, it's it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. The llama thing's been chewing through my wall. Cammy did? It has a name? Point is, hell. If I could just squeeze through and get to the cockpit, you can release the locks. Bingo. It's okay, I'm out. Any sign of Drax? Not yet. Why? Why? 
because I, Flarkin, told you guys that thing would chew everything. But did you listen? Oh, no. Can't listen to Rocket. He just fixes everything. So wait. Are you happy can we shoot a hole through the wall or not? No. But also maybe. If it means we get out of this. Done. Meet me in the rec room. Flarkin waiting for. We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kurtakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Ooh. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No. no not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Clark Quill. It's about Kratak in time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Nice. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. Not a boy, Quill. All right, let's see where Drax has taken us now. If there are church forces on this planet, we should have an attack strategy. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a Flarkin Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. This stuff is gross! Uh, uh, kidding me. Uh, wet fur is the worst! Rocket! Uh, 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 you alright? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nutjobs, great. They aren't nuts, they're pacifist exiles. Pacifists, that's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. What kind of job? It involved my sister and it's not relevant right now. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh. Don't fall, you won't get wet. Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? You will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Uh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Shoot first, plan later. We're not shooting Drax. But you were willing to shoot Rocket. Found Drax. Lying oh. scoundrel. Where is she? Where is the matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax, buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here. Men lost. Rock a little help here! Uh. <laughs> Mantis. Oh. How did she Mantis? 
how did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an armbad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Mini's fine. <sighs> fine what are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. So Mantis told him to come here. It's okay. Stay with me. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on. The creepy cave's this way. The what now? The creepy cave. Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is in unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is, or was, or which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him, here. <laughs> Interesting. And here we are, where the Kotadi take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Kotadi? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotadi are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> Come on, Groot. Okay. I thought Gru was still gonna start smashing. Oh. Uh, what are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of this space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! I don't like this. Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine-ish. My telepathic control won't last, little fuzzy. Only Green Meanie's friends ever help him see through the Matriarch's lie. Watch out! Double floor! Whew! I almost didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like, no, no. But you don't. Not yet. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Lousy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning's actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. I have heard so many of his panicked final gasps. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. Was kind of close. That one sometimes gets the more out. I doubt it. You're sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. 
Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Mantis, any chance Drax can... Green Meanie cannot be burdened. It takes all my mental fortitude to keep him enmeshed in lies. What do you think, Rocket? I think you need someone big and strong and green to knock it down. Oh, no. I can't make Green Meanie do that. Any ideas, Gamora? Only one. I don't think he can help us right now. No. Draxy Waxy's under my spell. Groot, maybe if we all push together... Could try using that huge crystal somehow. Okay, team. Pretty clear we can't rely on Drax. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. All right, Gamora. Let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! I don't trust him not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, you feeling lucky? Yo, geniuses. This thing above me don't look as sturdy. Not the most of got on bridge. Try your blasters. Problem solved. Still ignoring the bigger problem, not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Uh all the times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scoff, he saved your butt. He dragged a lot of heavy things around. And thrown rocks. Seems to love throwing rocks. Throwing rocks is a proud Kataki custom. Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. I just did. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf, first time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Who, oh, Stumpy? And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis, should we be worried about this fog? Yeah, I would. Oh. Stumpy? This can't be. Mega ability unlocks shield of Spartax. Star-Lord's decision to confront the Nightmare Entity head on his boost of his confidence. He is now able to navigate the battlefield with complete invulnerability for V3. Keep him busy, crew! Hit him! Cut to pieces! Oh, this is a one of the times it eats your face! Maybe it's stowed away on the Milano! Please! If something was on my ship, I'd know! Drags about now! Oh no, you don't want that! Belly won't soften up, bro! I take it back. Having normal tracks around would have been useful just then. Okay, skill points. Okay. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H has probably moved on by now. She literally just sent people to kill us. We bludgeoned her favorite monster, Quill. In no timeline does she ever forget. Okay, okay. Negative. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the forking deal? What the fork? There's two of them. Who of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for, Mora? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Quill? You best friends? Yeah, maybe not. Drax would probably admire these walking tanks. Are we sure they ain't related? I should know these ones. Like a hot blue. Oh, gross. 
it out there, Quill. You see the look on their faces when they see me razoring down from on high? <laughs> or the ones they make when they realize Groot's got him tied oh, up in I a know. Bone. Never thought I'd say this, but fighting with you guys is fun. <laughs> okay, yes. I get that it's all bubbly and sparkly out there. We're blasting shots at them and it's so much fun. But, if we lose our focus, if we can't let go of these crazy thoughts spinning us upside down, we're done. Who's with me? Nice one, Peter! You said... <laughs> Chop of the more of you! Never see you coming! I like the I, I I really I really like the team huddle in this. Sure are a lot of fish living in this sacred cave. Not for long, the ranks. I wanted to answer or not. We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. Facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. You'll see that soon enough. No, wait, you should know that already. Don't you remember your dreams? You uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before? Forlorn faces that can see like me, horrors yet to come? And other shadows too. Ours? Not ours? The figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see... Friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. Okay, so now what? Your bark's crawling. I'd almost jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. So where do we go? Are you sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. Found another way. <coughs> uh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay. Setting the charge. Stand back. I don't think this is the one where he kills us. No. I would agree. ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. 
Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. You always underestimated yourself, Gamora. Hey, group, buddy. Think you could lift this? Time, Groot. Right about there. Yeah, no, you did it. There ain't nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bar full of time. Okay, well, that was kind of a waste of time. Push that up, Groot. Just about there. There's that feeling again. The fur on the back of my neck is sticking up. I feel it too, like a pair of eyes watching you. Maybe I am. Find anything, Peter? Nothing in there that could save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Mantis? Huh? Oh, yeah. This cave is multifaceted. Get it? I don't know where to go. I seriously don't know where to go. It's trapped here. At least the crystals are kind of pretty. Nah, I've seen better formations. These look like regular silicates. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate. <laughs> Two. Then they might actually be worth a few units. To the right five, of course. There's a thing over here. Oh no, that's. Okay. Silent. Okay. Um. What else did the Katati tell you about this place, Mantis? Did they happen to mention the part where it's super dangerous and stupid to enter? Oh yes, it's very dangerous, ancient okay, even, an ancient danger, or what? Still is something. I don't know, dude. So I need to get over there. But how? I seriously don't know. Oh, fuck.
Okay, so there's a bridge thing over there. Hold on, I'm, I'm slowly figuring this out, I think. I, I do not know, bro. See, it wasn't useful. Okay. Oh, hi, Gabor. I don't know how you got there. Need to get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Mantis, back in nowhere, did you know what the church was gonna do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to I know. I saw where something I am. running. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy, like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Finally, the face of a thousand lives! I think. Gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. Here goes the sky! Watch out, everybody! Nice landing, Star Guy. Uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. Of course I'm angry. I'm what? Wandering around a cave that's falling apart, looking for Flark knows what! Can you get us through here, Gamora? Flark, I'm going in. No, you mustn't! You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you! Something bad is about to happen! Oh, that's it! I'm going in! Fuck it! Blow up this statue, save Drax, and get out of here! Yes? What? Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do. No, 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 I'm done Knock with it. all the riddles. Don't not, mm -hmm. not do whatever you Let's just hear Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Groot, can you tell him to stop? Little Fuzzy's in a mood, we're probably gonna die. Rocket, don't! Rocket! You guys ever see this a lot? Damn it, Rocket. Yep. Can you run? Rocket killed us, we're dead. That's it. Game over, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> mm. Close one. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I failed.
It's okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Do something again, Quill. He saved tracks after you almost killed us all. And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me. Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Shatari, Wait, water. hang on. Did you say Shatari? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. Wind shots. This is impossible! I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! These lizard freaks need to go! Couldn't agree with you more! You couldn't have warned us that Shatari were hiding out in this cave? They aren't always! I'm familiar with eyeball guys, yes. What I don't get is why they be here. Feel free to ask him. Man, what is this? Like the worst timeline? Careful! All these, I remember these.
Too weird. This is the point. Try to die quietly. Ain't gonna snap out of that one. Fog of fear, faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already. Just how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow. Heads up. More than rock monsters. I don't think they're looking to make amends, well. Oh, maybe I can help. Why, thank you, Gamora. Well, that <clears throat> All right. No, I don't want outfits. I want skill traits. We're going to get... Well, let's see. Let's do this one for Gamora here. And about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh! Maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever <clears throat> these giant things are. 
Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I am Groot. I know why we're doing it, and don't think Drax won't hear all about it either. Um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. Pips quicks. Okay. Interesting. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead, and I see what lies behind. Uh uh. No way. No flarkin' way. Doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving tracks? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does he even grow down here? No. Those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Yes! It must still be stuck somewhere. Anyone else suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about Kataf? Oh, you know he has some Katafian fairy tale related to our current situation. Like the Katafian equivalent of Jack the Giant Beanstalk. Guys, do without me. Yeah, where oh where will we get another gun? Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you. He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? Ah. So there's Jack Beanstalk guy. Here's your mighty Star Lord. You say something? God's dope. What's a big ass plan you went all the way down here? We call it Kuros. Give her a life in life. Bullseye! Hey, Bug Lady, exactly how many times you seen us die horribly? Oh, it's too sad to count. I always have to stop around 50. Great. That's ten apiece. Oh, no, 50,000, little buddy. Yes. I can't believe that worked. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translate, Rocket, don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. Hmm. Uh, it's actually kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? I ain't ever showered either, and I ain't gonna start now. Hey, Groot. Can you get me up there? I am Groot. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. Up we go. <laughs> oh. Let's play elevator, Groot. That's good. You could try to ask him. But I don't think this is one of them smart plants. <laughs> See? I told you. Well, you know, you can't give. You gotta give Groot. Uh, gotta give Groot the opportunity for trying. What's up here? Before I go up there, I just want to know what's over here. Oh. See, yeah, I knew there was something useful up here. Huh? What's your hurry? I told you to go before we left the ship. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind and focus on saving Drax? He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't... We <laughs> can never go for that. Just like that! Give him an even bigger head than he's already got. Bad, you don't have these sweet 
guns, Rocket. Keep it up, and I'll swipe him in your sleep. That's my Rocket go! Huh? Moses. Are we supposed to know who that is? Part the Seas guy? Oh, with the tentacles, right? What? No! Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. What do you Aww. say, group? Now that we got Rocket the actually together, thanked us sincerely. <laughs> Absolutely. Dry rocket is a happy rock. This is you happy? Oh yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. This cramped corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. I, what now? Uh... I thought we just did the wet part. Oh we get <laughs> Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am Groot. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't. Shut up. You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on half worlds. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. Okay, why do we, why do we stop? So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path and then try to find the exit. Rocket, something's wrong with my visor. I can't see anything. Huh. Must be Groot's bioluminescence. It ain't on the defined light spectrum. Uh, right. Making some progress. Okay. Oh, what's over here? You sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not. But let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you. Even better. You got another outfit. Annihilation Conquest suit for Groot. How nice. I'm being phoned here. Okay. So we got a new outfit for Groot. Still can't believe I got this outfit. I don't even know why they made it an outfit. Thinks Mantis is pretty less dark through here and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loose. Oh no. Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it is. What's that supposed to? Shh. I don't. More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball thing. I can't tell. Shh. What do you mean, shh? Star Guy's right. Shh. Right about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. So the key all along was to keep quiet? 
every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. Yeah, like that. I saw so many versions of us playing so many different things. Source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes. Sort of. Nah, oh. I'm kind of with Rocket on this. I can handle spooky caves and cryptic objectives, but man, do I draw the line at fog monsters. Aw, I'm sorry to hear that. Fortunately, it's too late to turn back. It's never too late to turn back. Turning back is what we do, lady. No, she's right. There was no way out of that fog room. Either we move forward or we die. Yay! In one possible timeline, we all get smushed. Great. Thanks, Mantis. That's Let me show. guess. Further down. Only if you want to save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Okay. One last time. It's mine. Oh, hello. I don't remember this part. Okay. Okay. Look, guys. Um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing um but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid rocket no fog monsters cave pigs wet waterfalls technically all water no no quill she doesn't know where we are she doesn't know where we're going she doesn't know what we're looking for mantis are we hot or cold room temperature okay okay this is crazy she is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly. And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke um. as me. Just as depraved, self-centered. Mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. And Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people. To get revenge in what... I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And uh, Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. Uh, or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Oh. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. <sighs> for the source of it.
inside. That opening's filled with water, Quill. Find me another way in. Rocket, you don't have a choice, man. It's gonna be a prick. I know! It's like they want me to keep blowing them up. And I gotta admit, every time they go splat, it paints an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. We are painting the battlefield right now, Rocket, in so many shades. But. We're too excited. This love fest, this dazzling euphoria, it'll all disappear. Who's with me? Yes! Rocky, you'll fit, right? Nuh uh. This is a job for the little guy. Come on. You see what I see? Yeah, yeah! I can get in there! Time to shred him! You don't stand a chance! Okay! So let's throw this thing to hell! Don't know how much longer I can hold us off, Peter! Rocket, got it? Rocket, Rocket, you legend. Check it out. Still not dead. 
I can't believe you did that for us. Hey, a friend needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as Flark didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. She's totally gonna feed us to something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Catathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um, is that supposed to be me? of the healing light, source of the cure, origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of... What is this? Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Adam Warlock! Foolish followers! Think fast, beard butt! Oh, how the... You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass! Uglies from that busted noggin of yours. So he okay, started the Church of Truth? Aaron Witchcraft! No, wait. In Warsaw! Ashley Warsaw? Adam, Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the Sanctimonious Shepherd? Us? With Raker, not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happen. Wow. Alright, well, I'm gonna save it here. The Golden God. Wow, I'm going to save it here, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more content. Until then, my name is Shakon4, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.